Hello guys, my name is Ahmed Halif for the Unscripted Talks here in Dub Radio. So, yesterday the Kenyan President uh, William Samoy Ruto uh, dissolved uh, his uh, cabinet uh, except uh, for his uh, Deputy President and the Office of the Cabinet uh, of the Prime Cabinet um, um, Minister. Now, including the AG went uh, home, the Office of the uh, Attorney General. Now, that for sure is a bold step to take and we congratulate him for that. Otherwise, there was a list of things that we wish he now proceeds on towards the bottom of the list. One was a finance bill 2024 which we really fought for it to be rejected and he withdrew it. That was done. Now that the cabinet has been dissolved, now we go to the next issue, which is about uh, reconstructing the IEBC. Yes, uh, he did something by signing uh, some of it into law just uh, the other day. But uh, what we were not happy about is uh, considering a motor vehicle as uh, a polling station. We shall revisit that. Now, we cannot forget the fact that uh, there are people who lost uh, their lives uh, during the protests. Some were shot uh, by the police, some were injured by the police, some were abducted. Now, we need those culprits uh, brought to book uh, because any criminal, just a common one in Chi who does any crime, trust me, it won't take the police a day or two before catching up with that person. But here are the faces of the policemen who committed those atrocities, but they are not uh, all accountable up to date. What is the IPOA doing? The independent uh, policing you know, authority. I don't know what they are doing because by now we should have seen that those policemen who did shot and killed the protesters brought to book justice be done and they are thrown behind bars. That is what uh, we are waiting for. Second, the Inspector General of Police, uh, Jafet Komi, we need him to resign or be sacked. Then also, we need to prosecute him in the court of law because policemen cannot shoot without orders. Those orders were emanating from that office. Three, we need to audit the national debt. We need to know how much do we owe the IMF and the World Bank and any other country possible that might have uh, lend us uh, their uh, monies for one project or another. Apart from that, we need to know ever since this government took power, we need to know the Kenya Kwanza government, how much have you borrowed from the IMF and the World Bank? How much have you used? How, what is the balance? And tell us, how you've used that loan in terms of development, you know, and provide evidences, receipts, or contracts that you've, uh, tenders that you've given institutions or companies to partake. How much have you paid them? We need uh, total accountability. And now you see, uh, there is no way, Mr. President, you can, you can, you know, create a committee to do an audit Yet, there is the office of the Attorney General. We cannot be double-paying people. It is the office of the Attorney General to do those audits. So, if they cannot do that, it is good. You did send that person packing home. Now, we are very keen to see who are the people you are going to, you know, uh, include or you are going to appoint as your CSs in your cabinet. If they are incompetent persons, if there are people who have had a hand in actually uh, get engaging into corruption, then again, it will be the same song. So I don't know how many cabinets you are going to dissolve uh, until uh, 2027 when elections will be held. So do the needful. If you're supposed to appoint uh, these CSs, look for the most competent persons. Uh, persons uh, who know what is taking them in that uh, uh, suite, um, you know. So, uh, again, I believe uh, and we know that 
each and every CS that was appointed there, in one way or another, they've been uh, accompanied or they have been um, by embezzling public funds. So, we need to see justice being done. Because we know these people have accumulated wealth from, uh, you know, embezzling public funds. So, these people should be brought to book. They should be prosecuted. And apart from that, their wealth that they have accumulated falsely using public, by looting public scoffers, yeah, we should use their wealth, let the state recall their wealth and use it in payment of those monies that they misused. Right, Mr. President? And um, finally, as we do this, the final thing we want you to do is possibly just resign. I know it's difficult for you to say you resign. Why not? We know, we know. But uh, try, try. After all that, we really want to make sure that we are draining this swamp. And um, kindly, don't tell us that um, by your cabinet having members of the opposition, you know, that now it is a cabinet of uh, national unity. No. Actually, it's not about national unity. It's about competence. It's about uh, seeing what they have done. Action. What this, this movement of the Gen Z and Millennials, uh, this revolutionary movement, is all about action. It's not about dialogue. And the fact that you get to know that the better now. As Kenyans, uh, you know, William uh, Ruto is somebody who is very schematic. So, guys, uh, let us hope this is not another um, diversion he is creating to make sure that um, we are convinced of uh, himself uh, delivering to Kenyans their promises. Because um, a man who is pressured to do something, not doing it willingly, we cannot call that principle, we cannot that competence. It's just about uh, trying to, you know, buy time as he finds his ways. Now, we also don't want you, Mr. President, to recycle these people because we have clearly seen they are a disappointment to the nation. Don't recycle them by, you know, uh, shuffling them into other uh, ministries. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, you understand? And I could see uh, one former CS um, saying that um, he has monies enough to feed a million families for a whole month. I mean, those are the kind of people you should be targeting. They should take back the monies that they stole from the public, you know? Because if they could feed a million families for a whole month, then why couldn't they perform? You see, such are the people who make us feel that the government is up to no good. Look at the opulence that they are showing. Yeah? Look at the extravagance that they are trying to show us at the expense of other Kenyans dying and sleeping of hunger. At this century, imagine somebody going without a meal. You know? So, Mr. President, the best thing you can now do is make sure the people that you're going to bring on board as your cabinet secretaries are people of competence, as statesmen. People who mean well for the nation. That is the only piece of advice I can give you. And Kenyans, anyone who is trying to affiliate himself or herself with a political party, that is a person that we don't need to associate with. I think it's time whereby um, we should pick independent candidates going forward to these uh, positions because an independent candidate is not going to represent the interest of the party. It's purely the interest of uh, the electorate. So, remember, anytime you elect somebody who is embodied to a political party, their number one priority will be about, uh, you know, uh, proceeding with the mandate uh, of the political party because it doesn't want to be seen as a betrayer or as a traitor. You understand? But as you elect uh, independent candidates, that's my only piece of advice. Then, shall you see this nation being driven towards the right direction? Ahmed Khalif is my name. If you like uh, nature of this uh, uh, content, kindly, or contents of this nature, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you press the notification button so anytime that you are live, you'll be the very first person to be notified. So as you also head to our Facebook, kindly follow us. 
uh, make sure you share our content view like comment and share uh, on our youtube kindly also you can share the link give your comment what you think and possibly more other content that you wish us to do for you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh kwa timba kali za africa dab radio ndio mpango mzima